want to try something here as I'm about to do my scope. I also want to see if, in fact, hi, welcome for joining me. Thanks. And if you're on the replay, by the way, that's been my scope about love and relationships. Interesting. That button should have gone red. <laughs> Apparently, this isn't the way I think it did. Okay, I'll check that out later on. So, um, how back in? Got my phone's back. Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, welcome. I'm going to be talking on my main theme, which is the love scope today. This is my daily love scope. But because today is the WATD, which is the um, the World Anti Troll Day, I want to speak to the area of dating. Hi, good to have you here. Um, I'm going to speak to the area of online dating because that's where this happens too. So this is a spin-off because I've been watching the Blab all day long, which is quite in um, involving, let's put it that way. So thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Selby. I am number one best-selling author of 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, as in relationships, romance, and love. And I'm a passionate top, um, champion for the feminine, helping women attract what they want. So I'm known as the heartbreak repair specialist. And this topic is close to my heart. Um, I did a scope earlier today about the bullying troll side of things, and that one I'm not going to talk about here. But this one's about online dating in particular and how treacherous that can be. So if you're here for the first time, thanks for joining me by the way, please make sure you swipe right on the iPhone, swipe down on the Droid and tap follow. And please feel free to tap screen for hearts and definitely invite your Twitter friends and your Periscope followers into this conversation. Um, hi Heidi, nice to have you here. Welcome. This is a topic that's going to be about the dating online dating arena and I have a pet peeve about it anyway. So I'm going to include the conversation about the troll aspect as that's what the theme of the day is with, with the WATD and Bopo tribe. Because I want to share this in their group as well um, because it may be relevant to a bunch of the ladies in their group and the guys too. Because this is something we forget about and we don't talk about much. So again, if you're just joining me, please go ahead and invite your followers on Facebook. I'm sure you can do that. I'm th I look at Facebook as default. It's where I live all the time. You can invite your Twitter followers and Periscope followers. So Tomiko, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I won't am going. I be following whilst I'm doing my scope in the replay. I can go back and do that. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for following on. Please stay tuned as we get to the topic of this matter. Um, I, am, I, I am a passionate um, devotee of relationship romance, and I teach about it. I have a book about it. Again, it's in my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. So I'm, I've written about it. <laughs> I have some content. I don't talk about it in the book about online dating, but I do talk about it in my, bla in my, in my blogs and also here in Periscope particularly. And that's what I want to talk about today. Um, if you've ever got, gone out, if you've, sorry, if you've ever been on an online dating site or have opened up a smartphone dating app, can you put a one in the comments below, please? I want you to check, see if you've actually dealt with this or not before. Um, so again, if you're joining me now, hi, Sandra, nice to have you here. Please make sure you share with your Twitter followers and Periscope folks and brings people in. It's, I know it's an afternoon scope, so the people in England, it's getting toward their night time now. It's almost 11.30 for them. So they may not be the regular Perry 10K folks and other folks from those groups may be. Okay, you have, great. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I asked though, just joining me, if you have been out on, if you've been online date, in online dating sites or with an online, sorry, a smartphone dating app, just put a one in the comments so I know that I'm dealing with at least one person who's been there. Um, if you're on the replay, of course, you can't comment, so I trust there'll be value in the replay for you as well. So this scope um, is, going to be maybe stirring up some stuff but I want to be clear about this I'm here to support you so what I want to teach you is something about how to deal with this um, there's a range of psychological disorders out there in the world to be very uh, clinical about it and the troll aspect is not necessarily part of that but some people tend to play that role and I've been watching the blab all day uh, today and actually did my own scope earlier in honor of the uh, world anti uh, troll day and part of the Bopo tribe's mission and I actually joined the group this morning because I really feel a calling to be part of that speaking, teaching and sharing and thank you for the hearts, I appreciate them a lot um, keep going this particular piece though is something I want to speak about specifically specific, specifically <laughs> or those tongue tying words because um, my work is about love relationships and that's why I have a love scope every day which is what this is so today's topic is about the online dating arena and smartphone apps because like with Periscope and with other online environments, including Bab, there are people who get on there who have um, a fake account or a set up an account just to get on there to annoy people and be trolls. It's no different in the online dating arena too. 
And some people, I mean, I've seen it on Facebook with fake profiles, and I'm sure things, I don't see things happening on dating sites where basically someone sets up a dating profile that is not real. That all the stuff they've copied and pasted from somebody else or they duplicated someone else's profile to get um, attention and to um, instigate upset with other people and be polite. And it's true with the smartphone apps because these apps require no investment financially, just a bit of time. So you may be browsing through the smartphone app looking for a possible date and come across a profile that looks really attractive, except it's a fake. Or it's somebody who's trying to put across an image that they're not who they are, <clears throat> which is the same as being a fake, basically, in terms of you're not getting what you asked for. So this is something that is not talked about as much as it should be, to be honest. And because of the thematic today that I've been watching with the Bopo tribe and the sharing about what with the world anti-troll anti day, I want, I want to include the conversation about relationship and dating and the online romantic arena with Match.com, uh, JDate, all these online sites. Because, hi Dorian, nice to have you here. Because so many of these sites have very little guidelines or should say um, framework to limit that. So you may be on those online sites looking for love and getting hit on by somebody who's not appropriate, correct, healthy, focusing on you and if their own interests. And a lot of times it's a very um, predatory environment. So the trolls that are in Periscope and on Blab and such people like that generally are, just, are, are people just in there just to get attention. They're annoying, they're noisy, they're just getting out there to get attention. The ones who are doing things on the online dating arena though tend to be more of a predator. So they're not there just to get attention as much as they're there to do something of harm to other people. So what do you do about it? This is one of those key questions. Personally, I have a, a message, an agenda, a um, honestly an experience about um, the way it works that is so um, frustrating, to be honest. It's so frustrating because there is a definite... Um, it, it's, it's bugging me because it's this. I am very passionate about how, um, sorry, something going on tonight. Okay, yeah. It's kind of been distracted by online media, you know? <laughs> so I'm trying to talk here and I'm like, oh, over there. So um, what I want to speak about is that there is a definite, um, there's a definite wall in the way from having true love through the online media when you don't know what you're looking for. And this is, this is in a way, the, the crux of my work. You won't find trolls in online dating or smartphone apps if your clarity about what you're here for and why you're here and what your, tri what your, your um, criteria are for love and romance and real truth, if that's clear. Most people I know and I'm doing just, and this is not um, research, I've, I've actually done research, it's not statistics I've researched, but it's just general consensus of people I talk to. They go on, and this may not be you, so bear with me, but they go on to online dating sites such as Match, JDA, eHarmony, etc., etc., or the smartphone apps like Tinder, Plenty of Fish, etc., like those, as the, well, the visionless choice they make. They go on there looking for love hoping they'll find it without really getting clear inside themselves what they really want. Except to general rules about they want a partner who's the right size, height, and, and gender. But they're missing everything else besides that, which is really, frankly, it's, it's um, distressing, to say the least. So here's my advice to you. If you don't want to attract, deal with, um, be punked by these people, First of all, it starts by having a good clarity about what you want. You've got to know why you're in the game for relationship, romance, and love, and what you really want in romance and love to really attract what you deserve and what you need. So in my work with my clients, I help them create a vision, a pure clarification of what they're looking for. Because when you know what you really want, it's like you have created a, um, a shield against those you don't want. And what I mean beyond that is, when you have clarity about what you really want in a relationship in this context, in love and romance, etc., etc., your choices raise your vision above where the trolls hang out. Does that make sense?
Well, if you if you want to put some hearts in the top of the screen, it's right on Kleenex here. If you want to add to, if you want to put any comments in, I appreciate that. And please again share with your followers and friends. This this is um, absolutely. You have to love yourself first and set your standards high. Yes, and there's more to it than that, by the way. So let me get to so to make a thank you. I'm glad you put a comment. I was wondering, is anybody watching? Because it was like no comments and no hearts for a minute there. There's more to it than just vision. Um, in fact, in my work, I took about three areas of focus. Well, you covered really one and a half of them, so I'll cover those fully so you know what I mean. To avoid dealing with the trolls and the predators on online dating sites and smartphone sites, apps, what you call those things. First of all, yes, self-love is key. It's a powerful cornerstone. Actually, it's the three, the three legs of the tripod for me and my work and my clients. Those three aspects. One of them is self-love, self-appreciation, self-respect, so that you don't settle key or fall prey to someone who you think, who you know is not up to your standards. Definitely true. Second thing is, you need a clear vision. And I don't mean a clear vision like I can see what they look like. You have to build the attraction to what you want to attract, which includes clarity what they look like, how you are together, how it feels to be with them, how you feel inside about them, and about how you feel about yourself in that relationship. So beyond having a picture of that person, like a, a wall chart or a vision board, which I do teach in my programs, I actually have an online program about this called uh, The Dating Advantage on my website, which is a home study program, eight powerful modules help you get what you want. And one of those is you create a vision board, a picture of what you want with qualities and words still in it. But I start you there because what I know is to be true is it's beyond the picture. It's how does it feel to walk into that life and experience that feeling. That's what I do over the eight weeks. So you have an extremely powerful um, magnetizing program to work through. That's what I love the program. It's really powerful. That's two. So self-love and clarity of your vision that you feel viscerally. The third piece, though, many people skip over. And this is the challenge because this is the piece that will tend to have you attracting what you don't want. So if you really don't want to attract the trolls, predators, etc., etc., the one thing that you need to do, which you may not have done before, is to look in the past. And what I literally mean is you need to make clear your past baggage doesn't drive your future anymore. Because up until now, it probably has. We are running an autopilot in most choices in our life because of where we come from, our upbringing, childhood, who our caregivers, parents were, all those people who we think are giving us the right information about how to live life and be successful in all areas of life, not just relationship, but business, money, spirituality, health, all those things. We get, we get in, inundated with as kids by our parents or our caregivers. So that becomes the guidance system we use to choose our dates. Even though we think we want something like this, our subconscious is going over there. That's why you end up with dates you don't want. And it's a powerful piece. And so to speak to the whole trolls and predator thing, for many people I know, many of my clients, they come from a background where they may have had abuse or neglect or addiction or something in their upbringing. That is that um, resonant frequency that attracts the troll from outside, that predator from outside in relationship and love. Hi, how you? you just saw you join me. Thank you for coming in. Um, that really becomes the magnet for the one you don't want. So as I said, those three things. First thing again is self-love and self-appreciation, self-support, so you'll raise your standards internally, which is what you said earlier. The second one is to really have a clear vision of your future and attraction to what you want to have, so you know what you really want and you get there because it's pulling you. But the third piece that may be the most vital of all, which you don't deal with usually, is making peace with your past. To heal and rehole and make whole your history, so that it no longer governs your choices because what's happening is, excuse me, itchy eye, uh, I was watching the blab all day, I think my eyes are getting tired from watching it. The past history that is still running you, that comes from childhood, if it's not healthy, will keep attracting to you that which you don't want, even though you've got a vision about where you're going. That other part is focusing down here. So my recommendation for you, obviously, is to do some of the work I teach. But if you're doing it in your own life, one, yes, get a clear picture of what you want, and then practice we're putting it on like a clothes, like clothes, wearing it. See how it feels to have that relationship attracted to you. And then you can course correct as you feel differently about it. Two, take care of yourself by loving yourself. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love you. I care about you. I appreciate you. So you get it in the mirror so you feel it. And third thing is, look at your history and see where it's taking you off course. And do your work to make peace with it. Whether it's doing self-forgiveness, doing some uh, healing of memories, that's the work I do with clients. And taking action steps so that, that no longer governs your choices. Now again, I, just, I talk about a lot of this in my book, John Flash again, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, it's on Amazon, and there's 50 principles, so I'm just talking about three. 
These cover a lot more, though those three are the most essential ones. But if you do those three actions and you put your, your life in order with those, your relationship um, experience will raise dramatically and you're try attracting what you really want. If you want to accelerate that, I do recommend working with me. I'm very biased, of course. This is my passion, my work, and my mission. And at least, if nothing else, go look at my archives of my uh, scopes to show you the flash of the site, catch.me slash Barry Selby. I've got about 80 of these up there now, which are called love scopes. Um, I only did the hashtag the last 10 or 15 of them because I forgot to do it before then. But if you search, look, look through the scope, look through all my scopes for the titles that have love scope in them, there's at least 75, 80 different teachings about love and relationships that will help you have more love in your life. So that's my free gift to you. But if you want to do the work, please check out my website, which is barryselby.com, and there's a link in my um, bio for a discovery session if you want to go further and deeper. Because this is my passion, my service to you, is to help you have amazing relationships. And because today is, this, is, the, is the world anti-troll day, I wanted to put out a scope relevant to that, but also to say that it still applies in online dating as well. Now I'll help you have what you want in love. So thanks for watching the scope. It was only about a 20 minute one. You're very welcome, glad you watched. And if you want any help, let me know. Gail, nice to have you here. <laughs> I was joining in now, so my scope is winding down, but it's okay, I'll recap briefly for you, especially Gail, because you just got here. Um, this scope is in honor of Bopo Tribe, which I joined this morning, but I've been noticing it for a long time. And because today, um, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> yeah, just for you, Gail. Um, because the, Today is the World Anti-Troll Day. I, want, I wanted to spin my love scope in that direction, not to ride on their coattails, but to speak to the whole troll predator thing that's happening in the online dating arena. And rather than getting to the mechanics of that and saying how it's not working, because it isn't, I want to speak to you about the three things I teach to my clients and to you to give you three powerful steps. I'm reiterating what I spoke earlier about, but I'll give it to you now. And those watching the replay, you can get to sign off now and watch it again if you like, your choice. Um, because most people... I would say that go into the online dating arena or smartphone dating apps tend to go into them with the hope they'll find love or relationship but they don't know what they're looking for in fact they're looking in those smartphone apps or online dating arenas for pictures and um, biographies that feel perhaps the most attractive and they use that to refine their, their chases in fact I know quite a few of my clients and friends of mine who've gone to the online dating apps and looked through five or six profiles and going which one do they feel most fits what they want and they use that as the basis for their choices that's, that's, uh, that's, well, that's us backwards, to be blunt. Because they're walking in without knowing what they want. It's like going to the store, grocery store, without any idea what you need to get, bring home to cook with. Because you don't know what you're looking for. So it's good to start with a recipe. Hmm, interesting analogy. I guess I'm doing now food-related um, food related analogies for, for dating. But what I talk about is you've got to have a clear vision. So one of the three main elements I talk about in my work, and I'll teach you this now, is you've got to have a clear picture of what you want before you go on the online dating sites, before you go on smartphone apps, before you go on a date even, is get clear of what you really want. And it's not just a picture, because that's a big step people have learned since the Law of Attraction came out about doing the vision boards. They talk about the Law of Attraction. But something, and I, Gail, I mentioned this to you in the book um, about um, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting by Lynn Grabhorn. And by the way, that's all available on YouTube as an audio book, so you can get the audio. And frankly, I recommend the audio better because she's so funny and so on point. I think she passed away a few years ago. But in the book, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting, she talks about the law of deliberate creation, which follows up from the law of attraction. And she talks about the feeling level, which is what they talk about in Abraham Hicks' teachings. But the way I talk about it is, and I emphasize this, is you've got to have the feeling of what it would feel like to be in that relationship you want to have. So you do a picture vision, vision board type idea of what you want to create. But then you've got to walk into that place and see how it feels to be there and then see if you feel online on, if it feels aligned or not. Because if it feels off, then you say, okay, well, I need to change a picture or change a word or change something on the vision board, then try it on again, like, said, like, like a, a dress or a suit of clothes. So you can then say, oh, okay, that lines up. or well, that doesn't line up. And you can be authentic with that. And so basically it becomes a, an adjustment process until you get really clear on how it feels to be in a relationship you want to be in. That's number one. Well, I just switched them, but that's number, that was number two before, and that's number one. Number two is you've got to really have your standards set high, which is really about loving yourself. So the second thing is, is you, you must, for your self-support, self-esteem, self-approval, have self-love. And that means that you're not looking out there for the love, you're looking here first. So anything you get from out there in the other relation, the other partner, is additive to who you are. Whoops, my computer's beeping in the background. So I recommend with my clients, they do, and this is what I do several scopes that say this all the time. 
free gift to you. Well, it's work for you, free gift from me to you. You spend five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening looking in the mirror and saying into your own eyes in the mirror, I love you, I appreciate you, I care about you. And say it till you connect and do it for at least five minutes both times a day. And if you go longer, even better. Because it raises your own vibration and it brings you more into alignment with who you are. So you're not looking for someone else to save you. Heaven forbid. Because that's not what it's about. That's codependence and I don't teach that. Wow, people, people come in. I love this. Joining me. So that's, that's number two. So recapping quickly again. Number one is about really getting clear the vision you want. But having a feeling experience of what it would be like to be there. Because that really is what moves you. Not the picture. It's what it feels like to be there. And you need that vitally to know where you're going. So when you go online dating or smartphone apps or blind dates or anything like that, you have this defined feeling inside that resonates. So when you meet somebody, you can feel right away, that doesn't fit. That does. That's clear. Second part is self-love because then you bring your fullness into a relationship versus looking for someone to make you feel whole, which is a mistake. So that's the thing, the second one. The third piece, which I said is not the one most people talk about. It's the hidden... Um, it's like in the dark closet in the back, you don't talk about this, but it must come into play because what we tend to do is go, okay, I love myself and I'm going out that way, that's great. You're missing the biggest 64 tongue gorilla in the room, is your history. Without looking at what you've done before and without looking at what you were raised with in your family, because that's where it starts, you're going to have automatic programming in your system, actually it's in your subconscious, that is overriding any conscious choice you make. Any conscious choice you make, be very clear. Your history is imprinted on you when you're a kid. When you are, <laughs> thank you girl, I like that. When you are zero to five, six, seven, eight years old, you don't have the wherewithal to understand how life works usually. So your consciousness is not developed yet to know to make autonomous choices about your health, relationships, religion, money, and that stuff. So you learn from what's around you your parents, your caregivers, who you look for as you're the adults around you, model it for you automatically. And what they do is what you see. Not what they tell you, but how they act, what they, how they spend money, how they don't spend money, how they interact with each other, how they love each other, how they argue with each other, how they abuse each other. That becomes your model that gets put in your programming automatically of what you want in a relationship. So you're an adult and you're out looking at love and you go, okay, I'm gonna do a vision board, picture what I wanna create. I'm walking to it and it feels great, wonderful. You go on an online date, and you find a partner that feels really amazing and attractive to you. Six months into the relationship, you finally start abusing you and you wonder why. If your past history upbringing had abuse in it, it's tying it together. As painful as you may be as that is to hear, your adult life relationships are a reflection of your younger life upbringing until you change it. So if you had an abusive upbringing, or a neglected back upbringing, or, or an addictive upbringing, whatever that was for you, it wasn't healthy, it's gonna get in the way of your conscious choices. So in my work with my clients, my deep work with my clients, we make peace with the history. You make peace with your past, it comes in forgiveness, it's inner healing and it's transformational work that will change everything in your life because the thing about this work is when you do that work inside, it doesn't just affect your loving relationships, it affects your money, it affects your business, it affects your health, it affects everything in your life, which is why I love doing this work. So I'm passionate about this work as you may have guessed. But this is the three things I wanna to bring to you to get clear about what it is you need to do to attract healthy relationships versus the trolls and the predators and the online dating scene or any environment, frankly. And as I said before at the beginning, I'm passionate about working with women. I work with the feminine and invoke that in women because that's what needed more on the planet. I am a number one best-selling author, to, just to sum it up, which is 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. And yes, in this scope, it's about three of the key principles that are covered over several of the topics in this book. There's 50 principles in here, but it's not 50 altogether. The three I talked about are the most important ones. And I mention them all in this book. There's another 47 of good ones in here too. But I want to tell you about those three because that'll get you started. And you work on those, it will change your life. So to summarize again, um, this quote was in honor of the uh, World Anti-Troll Day, which is which started by Bopo Tribe. So I want to put that out, that's why it's in the title of the scope. And I want to share my spin, my spin, my flavor, my perspective on the online dating arena and the smartphone apps where trolls hang out just as much, but they affect your heart, not just your demeanor. So that's really the, the scope in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and if you want to go back and watch the replay, please do. Please tap on the screen for hearts on the replay as well, and share this with your followers and friends on Twitter and on Periscope. And if you're not really following me, please swipe right on the phone, down on the droid, and tap on follow. And know that I do do a love scope, which is this is a love, my love scope for the day. I do a love scope every day. I also do a um, 
Perry Tips scope, which I'm going to do later, because that's going to relate directly to the troll conversation of today, because today is World Anti-Troll Day. Uh, just look for the hashtag WATD, it's everywhere. So that's what today's scope is in favor of. Thank you, I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it, Gil. Well, you do the same stuff, you talk about similar stuff, but more about the law of attraction, it feels like, and I did more about the relationship-centric, but they, they tie together. So I'm glad you're sharing about this stuff too. And again, check out that book on audio, particularly you can download the whole thing off of YouTube um, for, the, for that book, for Gail, sorry, for Lynn Grabhorn's book, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. Very good, very good listening. She's really on point and she's very funny too. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, by the way, all my archives are here on catch.me. That's where you find all my archive scopes of the 130, 140 that are out there. There's about 100 of them are now love scopes. So you look for the word love scope or love happen scope, you'll see them out there. There's also a bunch of them out on Perry Tips and a few ad hoc ones as well. So that's the nice scope for the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying around. Um, if you want to talk about relationship, you want help in the area, please go to my profile. There's a link there in my bio on Periscope. Links to me at a website which has a link to my discovery session. There's also a link to my donation button too. So I just want to say thank you. You're welcome, Gail. And thanks for joining in because you have me come right back in again. Yes, it's, uh, well, it's after midnight now. It's almost midnight for you guys. <laughs> so um, thanks for joining me. And Gail, I like following your stuff too, so I'm glad we get to connect. That's one thing I like about Periscope, by the way. Besides the troll issue we're dealing with and talking about today, Periscope has become a much more interactive environment to connect with people. Yeah. More about people can that was connecting to themselves? Yes. Yes, exactly. Well, as I said, love and relationship stuff is my thing. And yours too, I guess, in a sense. But I'm passionate about this. So thanks for watching and I love the fact I get to make connections with cool people all over the world through video versus just Facebook posts so it's more direct and more connection. You're welcome. Thanks for following, thanks for sharing. Please share the replay with your friends and followers too. I'll be putting it on Facebook, of course, because I'm very big in Facebook, have been for a long time. And watch me tomorrow on my Love Scope. It'll be later in the day again, because tomorrow's my spiritual support day for myself. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be doing a scope shortly about, um, yeah, I know, late for you. <laughs> Glad you're here. We can also watch the replay if you don't get to do the live one, but of course we don't interact on the, on the replay. Um, and yeah, maybe you should hi and say hi on Facebook at some point too. I'm going to be doing, so I'll be doing the period tip shortly. I'll be getting off after that because I want to go back to the blab for the rest of the day because that's going for another six hours, I think. But it's really good, rich content about the whole troll thing on Periscope. It's opening up a much bigger conversation, which is cool. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. If you're missing the replay, Lover of Jazz, if you want to go back and watch the beginning, please watch the replay. It'll be up and running as soon as I quit this one. And thanks for being here. And go out there and have good fun. Good fun sorry. Go out there and have fun in your life, but also put yourself first. Take care of yourself. Love yourself attract what you really deserve because you deserve it all right and if you'll find me on my website barryselby.com all my stuff is there and uh, i'll be back tomorrow for more stuff about periscope about love about other good stuff take care of yourselves i'll see you later